hi guys and welcome back to my channel so it's a sunny tuesday morning and i just realized i have not gotten ready for june yet so i quickly did my june overviews which means that it's time to do the june monthly so i know i said in a previous video that i was going to go ahead and use like all the flamingo and summer stickers and stuff and so i mean that kind of made it easy because i pretty much uh, have an idea of what we're going to be doing and I think I even know this the color palette <laughs> summer palette color palette and uh, so that pretty much means all we got to do is get this layout dated oh my god I can't talk <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, just in case if you're wondering I am using the hemlock and oak um, undated this is the printed version, of course, because it is big sized, and as you can see, like I do have it punched to fit into a happy planner. Um, a lot of viewers have asked me, like, why didn't you just go with a happy planner? You know, like, uh, well, I like the layout of this hemlock and oak a lot better, uh, especially those monthly overview sheets. It um, it just gets you pumped and ready for the next month. Um, it was just something that, like, I don't know, the Happy Planner couldn't bring to me. <laughs> uh, like, I do, I enjoy their stickers. Like, as you can see, like, I use a lot of their stickers. Um, they're cute and they're fun. And it was just something about the whole layout of the Happy Planner. It just, I don't know, it just didn't get me pumped and ready to go. And I, I don't know, there wasn't enough goal setting, I guess. Um, I did... Uh, dabble with the passion planner last year which in some ways I do miss my weekly passion planner um I don't I don't know like it <laughs> it's like a love-hate relationship but uh I mean I do miss it because it too has like its own goal setting perks so I'm kind of getting that through my daily uh, I do still use a daily passion planner and um, I post it uh, frequently on my Instagram feed. So if you want to check that out, check out my Instagram feed. I believe I have a link to that in the description down below. And um, so, yeah, I mean, that's kind of how I came across the Hemlock and Oak here. Uh, I do use the daily planner for my budget planner. Um, if you are on my channel right now, you've probably seen my budget reviews. <laughs> this sticker was like so freaking crooked guys I had to fix it um I don't I think my brain was just somewhere else at this point but uh yeah so I mean I am kind of digging the whole hemlock and oak printed um they do provide it on their website for free so you could download and print for free um if you know making and printing your whole planner for the year isn't your type of thing uh, they do have uh, weekly versions that are printed in book form um, they're just a little bit smaller and I, I don't know what it is with me maybe it's my handwriting size maybe it's just that I like to fill the pages but um yeah I gotta check and see how many days are in June here but no I definitely need the um like a big size planner so i mean if they ever do come out with a big size i will be purchasing from them but until now this is the version we are rocking with so uh let's go ahead and drag out those stickers and see there's that flamingo um i'm not quite sure if i'm going to use these watermelon ones here that say summertime that might go into my daily um yeah <laughs> So many stickers. There's a coordinating box I could use with that thing. Uh, that might be more of like an August. Uh, I do still have to figure out what me and the boy are doing. Uh, yeah, my son is 21, so <laughs> I still call him the boy. But, I mean, it would be nice if we could do something fun for the summer. Uh, we work some really long and grueling shifts uh, at work. We both work for the same company. So... <laughs> Our lives are about to be turned upside down, guys. <laughs> so, the most important thing about June right now is Father's Day. And it looks like it even matches the uh, the color there. So, we're going to slap that on there so I don't forget. Uh, Bill will be angry. 
Um, oh man. Okay. What can we do next? Okay. How about this Hello Summer, which I am going to separate it from the sunglasses. You probably can't see it because it is closer to me here, but I am just going to snip off. There they are. Those little sunglasses. Um, I just want the Hello Summer part because our summer shifts, uh, do start on the 5th. So instead of starting at 3 p.m., I'm going to start at, what, 6 a.m. now? So yeah, it's like a full schedule swap. Um, oh yeah, these are my pink and gold ombre stickers, by the way. Uh, I've been working steadily on these things for the last month, trying to get them into my shop. So that's kind of cool and exciting. And I even started a Shopify, I believe that's what it's called, a Shopify shop on my Instagram account. <laughs> I do like the whole Etsy shop though better. Like they actually allow me to put like downloads and stuff. Of course the foil stickers aren't downloadable. Uh, I wish it was. I wish that they made printers that printed all foil. That would be really cool. Um, it would make it a lot easier. <laughs> But yeah, right now these are only available in printed format. I'm going to have to make them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, if you're interested in any of these uh, planner box products that you see me using, uh, feel free to check out my Etsy shop. Um, I have both varieties uh, listed on there. And of course, on the Instagram shop, uh, it would be all the ones that I have to print and ship to you. <laughs> Um, yeah, I love those ombre ones. I just love, like, look at that. Look at the shimmy. And I love how it just, um, transfers from gold to pink. So, those are pretty cool. Um, alright, let's see here. We got the Hello Summer for the start of the shifts. Of course, we got Father's Day. I can't really think of what else I need to put on this. So, let's go ahead and start, um, coloring in here with the highlighters. I did promise myself I was going to use up all of these month stickers for this year. So it does seem silly just not writing it in. <laughs> but I mean, that was something that I never would have thought of or dreamed of doing whenever I first started planning. It's kind of funny because I hated my handwriting. And um, yeah, apparently after years of planning, you learn to accept the handwriting that you have. <laughs> So, I don't know. It's kind of ironic. I would have thought I would have used the month stickers back then, but apparently I didn't. I skipped them, and um, now i got to use them. So, uh, that's why we're using the June sticker. Okay, so I'm keeping the, uh, the color palette that I used last week. Well, I mean, it would be for this week, but it would have been the last uh, plan with me that we did for the weekly. I kind of like it, and it is summery, and it, the colors are nice and poppable here. And just in case if you're wondering, I am using the Passion Planner highlighters. I absolutely love these things and highly recommend them. And feel free to use my code Sally627 at passionplanner.com to receive 10% off your order if you want to check them out. Again, I do highly recommend them. Uh, they have a chisel tip like the mild liners. And there's like a felt tip pen on the other side. Uh, which the mild liners do not have. They have more of a bullet tip. And I mean, guys, <laughs> I can't stress enough about how much I love the colors of these things. Um, they seem to go on smoother than the mild liners. Like, I like using these in my planners more than the mild liners. And I kind of keep the mild liners separate now for like doodling. Um, I don't know. They just seem like more of a better coloring marker, I guess. So. I don't know, like these things seem to match my Happy Planner stickers a lot better too. So let's see here. We got that sidebar build. Um, I think I said that correctly. <laughs> Apparently blend with me in the morning is not my thing. So uh, I kind of carried this over from my Passion Planner, which they use different categories. I just covered it up and made my own. That's uh, what I do. But um, I do track what I craft, what I eat, uh, you know, eat and drink, what I watch, and what I read for the month. It's kind of like having a currently page on your sidebar for your monthly layout. So I don't know. Like I've always wanted to keep uh, currently pages and I always forgot about them. <laughs> and these ones I can uh, remember to keep up with. 
So I don't know if it's because it's on my monthly or what it is, but this, uh, this layout seems to work best for me. And I do want to use this flamingo. I mean, he is freaking huge, but I'm thinking he will definitely fit there. So he's looking pretty calm and peaceful. I'm hoping that's what I look like by the end of June. <laughs> and let's go ahead and put his palm tree over here. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, monthly layouts are always tricky for me because uh, it's like I want to put so much on them. But at the same time, I do like to kind of keep this thing functional and I do use it as like a sort of memory planner too. Uh, yes, I had to incorporate that cute little sun. I mean, you can't have a summer layout without the sunshine, right? So, okay. And here's this lazy summer days. So maybe I could put down here like fun things that me and Ray did over our extended weekends because we do have extended weekends now because we have brutal daily shifts uh, Monday through Thursday. <laughs> so like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, maybe I could like write down some things that, you know, will help keep us sane. <laughs> enjoy summer for a little bit normally we don't get to so this year we're gonna try again um i am thinking about putting these little sunglasses here so i don't know maybe maybe we'll do something cool for the pops that day like get them a little cookout or something fry them up some sausages he loves hot sausages so i don't know we'll have to come up with something um Okay, uh, what else can I do to this thing to decorate it? Like, th this is why I like the films, like the plan with me's are a little difficult for these because, um, I do try to keep them bare minimum, uh, because I do add so much to them, like, during the month. <laughs> and, you know, I just realized we got the last day of school, so that's this Friday, so that'd be the second, um... Unless there's like an immediate snow day. I mean, I don't see that happening, but you know, if we got a snow day coming up, uh, yeah, it won't be the second. But, um, I could have swore there was like last day of school stickers in this book, but again, this was one of those books that I had to have. And now I'm looking at it and I'm like, why did you get this? <laughs> it's okay. We'll figure it out. We will make this book work for us, just not today. So, um, let's see here so we could do summer vibes and let's pull out another one of my foil stickers which god it's already trying to attach itself so um which uh by the way uh the ones that i'm using right now these are the junky ones <laughs> these are the ones that did not meet shop quality so i get to use them but i mean hey they're still usable i'm not gonna waste them um okay so Pretty much for those other days, it's going to be like work, 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 and then me and Ray are going to try to survive the weekend together, and then we're going to work, 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 and then we're going to survive the weekend. So uh, there's not really too many plans with this because we don't know how our bodies are going to react to the complete shift of, uh, you know, uh, time changes and that. Um, I do want to do something with this bottom part here. So, like, on the right page, like, that's where we're going to do our calm, relaxing stuff. I do kind of feel like I need a spot to um, keep track of, like, what I'm supposed to be doing to keep, like, my shop and that going. Uh, you know? Um, okay, so we got, like, living for the weekend, which we will be doing every week from here on out until September. <laughs> Work is no longer playtime, guys. Work is gonna suck. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe like this Chase Your Dreams. And I mean, he does match the flamingo. So, yeah. Okay, so Chase Your Dreams is like red hot. You know, that's like, get your stuff done. <laughs> so that we don't have to do these grueling shifts no more. I mean, that would be great. My God, if I could sell enough stickies to where I could just be like, hey guys, I make stickers, you know. That's, uh, that's what I do for a living. That would be fantastic. So that is one of my dreams. And of course we got the calm side with the lazy summer days. So that's the shady side. <laughs> and okay. So I'm just kind of cleaning up here because like I want to use these cute summer doodles. I do. And they will go on here. 
but I don't think it's going to be today. I think that's going to be like a way later on type thing, like what is going on through the week, because uh, we really don't plan our weeks. I'm, I guess I'm not really classified as a planner. I'm a logger. <laughs> I log what I've did. <laughs> So, yeah, let's go ahead and get this back into the book, which I'm telling you, printing this thing off uh, was seriously one of the best decisions I've ever made. I absolutely love the layout of this Hemlock and Oak Weekly, and it, like, actually being able to put it in a big size Happy Planner is like a dream come true for me. So, yeah, guys, I mean, that's pretty much what I used there. I used the Seasonal Teacher sticker book and, of course, the Gold Star Quotes, along with my own pink and gold ombre, which you could find in my Etsy and Shopify shops. And I just want to close out by saying thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And please remember to hit that like and subscribe button to see more Plan With Me's.